Okay. So a big welcome please for yeah. Alba, her speech is inside with the word that connects the door. Yeah. Okay, so good evening Toastmasters and honorable guests. So uh, I'm here today. When I first thought about what you speak here today, I immediately thought about addressing the immigrant population who, like me, came from another country. However, I could not exclude the one who grown up in England, the native English. So I decided to talk about a word that connects us all. It is a motivation that can be summarized in one word. Any guess? Good guess. We're going to cycle back to that word soon, after I'm just revealing a, some aspects of my journey. When I reflect about my journey as an immigrant, it was not easy. I arrived in the UK 18, 17, 18 years ago, seven months pregnant, and my English skills were very basic. I remember one situation, bring my babe daughter to do the eight weeks babe check at the GP surgery. And I remember rushing out from the clinic because I was petrified, crying. I was worried because the doctor told me that my daughter needs to have some injection. This was the only thing I could understand. It was only later on that day, after my husband contacted the GP surgeon to find out that our daughter was perfectly fine and ready to receive her immunizations. <coughs> Back in Brazil, I was a fully qualified doctor. I had finished my general surgical training and I was working towards to become a plastic surgeon. Yet, in the UK, I was powerless. Unfortunately, society can sometimes be unkind. And they can react out of their own frustrations, rather than against us. So, be selective in what you hear. Focus your purpose. Don't give up and you will be called to do great things. Now talking about life and relationships, I have to confess, I have a very close relationship with the native Brits, as my husband is one of them. Even to these days, life can get pretty entertaining at home because I tend to get the English expressions, literally. For instance, when he tells me, stop beating around the bush, I immediately stand on the kitchen. What bush? What are you talking about, mate? The only thing I can see is a pile of dish in the sink and loud to fold. So no bush. For me, the book is on the table. Jokes aside, I would like to take the opportunity to show my gratitude. Thank you for supporting those of us who came from another country where education is not the priority on the agenda. Never underestimate the power of its seed. Now let's cycle back to the word, the word that connects us all. Think about what brings us here to Toastmasters on a Monday evening to practice public speaking. Is it go? Go. Good question as well. Good, good, good answer as well. Yeah. Surely we want to be a better communicators, to learn to do a better job, to be a better leaders. But what truly binds us together? It's not silence. That's a good one. Connection. That's a good one. Not. Relationships. Hope. Hope drives us all. We hope to be a better version of ourselves. And consequently, a better community, a 
a better society. And lift others up with the power of words. During this difficult time we are living in, post-COVID, post-Brexit, current war in Ukraine, Middle East conflict, the political polarization that we were talking worldwide. Hope is what keeps us going. Because despite of all of this, we are here because we believe we can do better. And we can inspire others to do better too. So never underestimate the power of a public speaking. Because it's not about the words that we are delivering, but it's about bringing hope. Thank you for having me, and I hope you enjoyed the evening.